Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about finding a guitar. Not just any guitar. Not a guitar that you like. Not even a guitar that you really like. But that one special guitar that fate has delivered right into your hands. We're going to talk about some tips and tricks on finding that guitar. Billy Gibbons has pearly gates. Stevie Ray Vaughan had a guitar that he referred to as his number one. And Bernie Marsden had the beast. Now we don't have to be a rock star in order to deserve a great guitar. And today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to find your own number one. Now to up your chances of finding that one guitar, there are three things that you need to stop doing and one thing that you need to start doing. Number one, stop looking at the name on the headstock. There are all kinds of great guitars that have all kinds of different names on the headstock. Don't limit yourself and don't limit your choices by a name on the guitar. Now this is coming from a, a former brand snob like myself. It had to have a certain name on it before I would consider buying it and I probably missed out on a lot of great guitars. I always thought my number one would be a Gibson or a Paul Reed Smith. That turned out not to be true. Number two, stop looking at the price tag. Great guitars come in all price ranges, especially these days. I used to foolishly believe that a guitar couldn't truly be great unless it was 2K or above. The guitar that I call my one was under $1,000. The good thing about this is, is that you can get your great guitar, you can get your number one guitar, and pay a small price for it. That's a double win. Number three, stop looking at pickup configuration. Now I know that a lot of you love humbuckers, a lot of you love single coils, and a lot of times you might walk by a guitar altogether and not even give it a shot or a chance just because of the pickup configuration. I used to do the same thing. Unless it had two humbuckers in it, I would walk on by, or at least a humbucker single single. Try them all out. You never know when you're going to find that one that you really, really like. Number four. Now this is what you need to start doing. Start looking at places you don't normally look. Classified ads, small guitar shops, pawn stores. Pawn shops are a great place to find guitars cheap. Now here's an extra tip on top of this. Find a pawn shop that doesn't have guitar in the store's name. A lot of times you'll find a store like Money, Payday Loans, Money Loans, Pawn and Jewelry. And when you find a pawn shop like that, a lot of times they don't even know the value of a guitar. So you might find a very expensive guitar for really cheap. Many years ago, I went into a pawn shop in Oklahoma and it was called Pawn and Jewelry. Now, I was looking at guitars, I wasn't looking at jewelry, and I found a Telecaster Standard USA model. It came with a tweed case and it was a sunburst finish and I got it for $250. The guy didn't know what he had. Now later on I'm going to ask you to share your number one guitar story, whether it be a heartbreak story or some kind of a happy story, or both. So I think that it's only fair that I share my story. So somewhere around 1996 I walked into a pawn shop in Oklahoma and it was a guitar pawn shop. So they had many, many guitars. Well, I went in there and I was actually looking for some tools. I wasn't even looking for a guitar. And I just asked the owner, do you have any, do you have any Gibson Les Pauls in the back that you don't have out front? And he said, yes, I do have a couple. Well, he pulled out a couple of guitars and I saw a Gibson Les Paul Standard. It was a beat up guitar. It wasn't a pretty guitar, but I just decided to try it out. Well, when I plugged that guitar in, and I played that guitar for the first time. I immediately knew that that was my guitar. It was a feeling that I'd never had before with a guitar. I instantly fell in love. I, it, it was fate that this guitar was supposed to be mine. So I immediately told him, I said, please don't sell this. And I knew the guy a little bit. So I told him, I said, please don't sell this. I will be back in a couple days to get it. Well, I went back home. I sold, I tried to sell everything I had as far as guitar wise tried to get the money finally I went to the bank and actually got a small loan went back to the pawn shop 
and I asked the guy for the guitar. I told him I was there to pick the guitar up. Sadly, whenever I tried the guitar, he left it sitting out, and someone else come in two or three days later, played the guitar, and instantly bought it. So they must have, they must have known exactly what I felt whenever I picked it up and played it, and it was gone. And I can't tell you the heartbreak that I felt. I mean, the, it, I was devastated. I almost cried. <coughs> Not lying. Okay, so now that you've heard my heartbreak story, I'm going to let you in on my happy story. About two or three months ago, I walked into a guitar store in St. Louis, Missouri. Not really looking to buy a guitar. I was just looking around, as you do when you go in a guitar store. I had to buy some strings and stuff like that. And I came across this guitar. I saw it hanging on the shelf. And for some reason, I just couldn't stop looking at it, and I just wanted to play it. And it was this guitar right here. It is a 1991 Fender American Strat Standard. And as soon as I plugged this guitar in and I played this guitar, it was plugged in through a, a Blues Junior and I instantly fell in love with it. I felt the same way that I felt years, years ago about that Les Paul. And I had to have this guitar. As a matter of fact, I didn't even let the guy grab it back and put it on the shelf. I guarded this guitar. I was, I was not gonna let somebody else buy this guitar out for money. I wasn't going to lose out on my second one guitar. So I took it up to the counter and I purchased this guitar immediately and I only paid $900 for this guitar. So I hope these tips and tricks will help you find your number one guitar. Okay, so now that I've shared my stories with you, drop a comment down there and tell me your story. Tell me your number one guitar story. Is it a heartbreaking story? Was it a story of missed opportunity? Or was it a story of joy and happiness like this one? Or both? If you enjoy this content and you want to see more of it, please hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel. Well, that's all we have for this video. We'll see you again soon in the Guitar Cranny.